take one. All right, grade fives, we are moving on to this worksheet here. It is titled Fractions, and this is what it looks like. And there is a lot going on in this worksheet. This is one of the harder ones you'll encounter um, in this booklet. So let's go through it. I'll go through some examples. Um, so if you're looking at the very top of the worksheet, it says fill in the missing numerator from each fraction. So numerator we know is the number on top. So we have an example here. It shows a whole rectangle, one whole, and then it shows it divided into sixths. We're missing a few sixths here because we only have four sixths. So one, two, three, four. So four of them are here. So we need to figure out how, what the equivalent fraction is here. So four sixths is equivalent to how many twelfths? So you can count these here, because we've divided this into twelfths as well, or you can use math to figure it out, like we did in the last worksheet. How do we get from six to twelve? We multiply by two. How do we get or what do we get when we then multiply the top by two? Because whatever we do to the numerator or to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator as well. So if we multiply this by two, what's four times two? It's eight. So don't mind the construction sounds. Just means your school is gonna be beautiful when you come back. Okay, so four sixths is equivalent to eight twelfths. So let's go back and count this. Let's see if that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight twelfths. So there we go. We've got two ways to figure out what our equivalent fraction would be. So you've got three chances here. I would encourage you to do the math first and then check your work by counting the, the um, sections, okay? That would be my best way to do that. Okay, so then we move on to the next portion of the worksheet. It's asking you to color in three-fourths of each of those shapes. So I've made my very own shape. This one's not on your worksheet. I've divided a rectangle into 16 parts. 16 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, in case you didn't believe me. So 16. So I know this rectangle is out of 16 parts. So, actually I'm going to erase this. I don't want that there. So we want to color three quarters of that. So I want to know what is three quarters of this? What is three fourths of this? I have to find an equivalent fraction. So I know my rectangle is divided into 16 parts. So my denominator is going to be 16. I need to find out what is an equivalent fraction here. So how do I get from 4 to 16? I multiply by 4, right? 4 times 4 is 16. So now we want to do the same thing to the numerator. We're going to go times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So 12 sixteenths is equivalent to three quarters or three fourths of this shape. So let's color in 12 sixteenths of this shape or three quarters of our shape. Okay, so that's how you do that second part of the worksheet. That was a little more challenging. And then for this third part, it says write three equivalent fractions for the shaded portion. So what I would encourage you to do first is to count how many parts are in the shape, how many are shaded, and then make a fraction from that, and then make some equivalent fractions either by dividing or multiplying. So you'll have to make three equivalent fractions. And then here it says to the last part, is circle the fractions that are in simplest form. Simplest form means that the fraction 
cannot be broken down into a smaller number, okay? So you can't divide it evenly into a smaller number. So for example, one fourth, one fourth, hmm. If we divide four by two, we get two. But can we divide one by two and get a whole number? Hmm, no. Because if we divided one by two, one divided by two would give us a decimal, it's half. So we can't actually make this fraction any smaller. One quarter, one fourth is already in its simplest form. So you're gonna want to circle that one, okay? So I want you to give these next ones a, a try and see what you come up with. And as always, if you have any questions, because this worksheet's a little more challenging, you message Mrs. Miss Martin or me and let us know, okay? All right.